How's it going, everyone? This is Saber Wolf 94 Gonna do a Yu-Gi-Oh! Classic today. Um, these guys, uh, Judai or Jaden Yuki and uh, Johan Jesse Anderson Duelist Packs uh, that came in 2008. If I'm not remember, if I don't, if I remember correctly, damn, I can't even talk. So yeah, uh, it's ten of each. Uh, ten of um, this guy and ten of this guy. Uh, these are from blisters actually, but in order to save time and, you know, not bore you with um, nonsense, I took them out of the blisters and set them up like this. You know, it's those blisters that have um, two packs uh, in each blister. So this, there's five cards in each pack. Uh, the sixth card is uh, like a guide card that's, for the most part, not very good. But yeah, there's some interesting cards here, probably useless and got to print a million times, but let's just do a little quick video with them. Um, I, I would like some of the evil hero stuff that's in here, like uh, Malicious, Malicious Fiend or um, Infernal Malicious Fiend, whatever the, the fusion guys. Um, for Infernal Progeny, yeah, I got one, so... So we got a common dark Gaia over limit armor breaker. I don't even remember what this does. Neospatian air hummingbird and mirror gate. Yeah, so you know if you new guys don't know, um, newer players I should say. Uh, back then, well, I make it sound like it was years ago. You only got like a a rare per pack and you know, it was less supers and less ultras and stuff like that. So let's do a Johan this time. I'm, go I'm gonna do him like this, uh, one Jade and one Johan every time. So you got the Crystal Beasts, uh, Amber Mammoth, and Hand Destruction. I think this card is uh, it's one of those cards that, you know, is kind of forgotten. It's useless for the most part because you minus. But um, I suppose if you ditch things that float, like let's say you ditch um, uh, E-Hero uh, Shadow Mist. It's like a D-Draw at that point. You know, pretty good. It's too bad it has to work with your opponent too, and I, I hate cards like that. That's why I don't like... Uh, don't really like this Dark World Dealings. I used to love the love that card, but you know you let your opponent draw and ditch. But I mean, I don't think it's been reprinted in many sets or at all, actually. So yeah, you got Magnus Slash Dragon Crystal Beacon and this thing. So let's do another Jedi again. So these are probably quite hard to find or, you know, they're going to start becoming harder and harder to find them, especially in good prices. Dark Gaia, Neospatian Grand Mall Rare, used to be a good card, not so much today, Hero Counterattack, and Elemental Hero Alias. And I actually wish they made evil heroes not so bad, or at least gave them some sort of search power, because you can't search Dark Fusion and uh, Dark Calling. Come on, can't open this properly. So I got the Crystal Beast, Amber Mammoth, uh, Gravy, Crush Dragon, Crystal Pear. Uh, is this a rare, or is it a foil? I think it's a rare. Yeah. And from what I understand, there's like some OCG Crystal Beast stuff, but we haven't seen it yet. It would be nice to get something. Because these guys are hard to use, even though they have the potential to be very good. Over Limit, we are Dark Gaia, and Elementary Hero Captain Gold. You know, your ditch, effect monster, and search a field spell guy. Uh, convert contact, 
draw card for newest patients, although not exactly deep draw easy to use. These older packs, you know, you know, they weren't as flimsy. So you got the old <laughs> original Twister. Uh, this card was actually kind of decent. You know, when MST was at one and he wanted to destroy a face up uh, spell or trap, it was a good side deck card. Man, I don't even remember. No, there's no way this was, was ever at one or two or whatever, but. Never know. Ancient City Rainbow Ruins. Good field spell. It was probably one of the strongest field spells, you know, when it was released. And a field spell with so many effects and, you know, being able to protect itself and stuff. So, yeah, with only 20 packs, I'm probably not going to pull anything, but let's hope for any surprises. Reverse. Of Neos, Neospatial Grand Mall, Mirror Gate, Neospatial Hummingbird. So, this was a really slick era, a really cool era, you know, the Phantom Darkness, you know, late GX era, a lot of destruction, a of assault. Uh, that was the peak, in my opinion of Yu-Gi-Oh! It was so cool, even though it was upper deck. So we got a foil crystal release, that's very cool. Uh, this is the original version, it only came... Um, it came in here, and then it got reprinted in the Legendary Collection too, if I'm not mistaken, or if it didn't. There's definitely a, it's definitely a common and a raw yellow mega pack. Even though that, that, that one is hard to find. But it's kind of nice, it's quite nice, I got this uh, foil super rare from uh, this set. They don't really have uh, many foils in the first place. Um, it's like a couple of supers and ultras. You know, they're short sets, like 20 cards or something. You know, you can see a sort of cart list. Oh, it, it doesn't have it here, but some of these uh, guides, you know, they have the cart list. Hero Metal. Evil Hero Infernal Gainer, a cool, cool art card, but not that good. Armor Breaker again, and Dark Fusion, common. This was rare in Gladiator's Assault. So yeah, the Supreme King How, you know, when Jaden is in that arc, you know, Season 3. I think Season 3 is uh, probably the coolest arc in Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. Um, Surprisingly, some people think that the final one is, is cool, and I don't know, maybe I had a lot of expectations going in that, but, you know, Season 3, you have some such epic duels with Yubel, you know, using the uh, Chaos Beasts, and, you know, their fusion, you know, you got the, uh, the guy that uses Exodius and stuff, you have, like, Zane, or, uh, what's his name, Ryu, you know, using, uh, you know, the cyber stuff, you know, summoning Camaratech with some epic duels, making it 16,000, something like that. And it really had epic, an epic concept with the dimensions and fusions and, you know, I think it was really cool. And then, you know, you got Supreme King and, and all that evil hero stuff. It's cool shit, it's like epic duels. Really good, immense scale. So we got Neo Special Glow Moss, and we have a foil. I don't know if you guys can see, but yeah, I think this is the first time I pulled this guy here. And Skyscraper Two Hero City. Um, if I remember correctly, this was the first like field spell that actually only works for you, or maybe you know it was together with the Crystal Beast one. No, 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 I don't think so. Uh, yeah, but this this made it like it, it only works for you. It's not like a field where it works for everybody. Now they kind of fucked that up. I mean, with the new rules now, both people can have field spells, but you know, I think I prefer the older ruling. You know, it's just sad they, they made it so, you know, 
It only works, field spell works for you. And we are, had all these field spell wars and stuff. side crystal tree another foil super rare pretty nice so we got another foil back to back another card that was released in here anime card nice you know looking card but pretty weak especially for crystal be shit you know this card is worthless unless there's something I don't know Come on, an Ultra Fusion. Oh, we didn't, but we got an Infernal Spin Sniper. Fantastically stupid, worthless card, even though it's cool again. You know, it can't be destroyed by spells. I mean, I guess back then maybe I thought, you know, that was a strong effect. Uh, but yeah, not very good. Doesn't really put pressure, doesn't really do anything. It has to stay in defense to activate its effect that... You, you lose a thousand, and it's not even like the ancient gear guy, the devil, has to be on your standby. But you know, cool thing for my collection. And we actually got more foils than I thought we would. Got like four or five, I don't know. I do want to get at least one malicious fusion ultra. I don't remember his full name, but. Ancient City Rainbow Ruins. Grave Squirmer, right. So this was originally in here too, I think. Uh, this was like the first like card, I guess if you don't want to count Raiko, that you know, you destroy them by battle, you could destroy any card. It wasn't like, you know, destroy a spell or a monster, you know, flip effect like manual bug and stuff. Uh, you kill him by battle, he gets to pop a card. Zero attack, zero defense, fiend. I think he was used by Ubel. Original rarity, super rare. Another good card for my collection. And we're actually pulling more foes than I thought. I thought this was going to be shit because... These are just random packs from blisters that I bought. I mean, I opened uh, some set, some boosters off screen when I was looking for Evil Hero in front of a Progeny, uh, so I could have made the Dark Arm Return deck profile. You know, have the have the list completely as I wanted, no proxies, and that card was necessary. So we got Captain Gold. Gaia. You could actually make a like dual entertainment. It's a YouTube channel. You know, he has a cool video with this guy. Another oh 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 ah oh, yes, evil hero malicious fiend. Yeah, the top card I would have liked uh, from this. I mean it's probably the only ultra rare. So very good. I'm actually gonna put this in the sleeve immediately. Uh, oh yeah, there's a card list. So as you can see, is uh, you know 25 cards. I don't know if you can see, but whatever. So this guy, you know, specific summoning conditions. Uh, not that great of an effect, but 35k cool art can do some shit. Dark guy is probably better, but you know you'd run this too with him. Very cool. I'm sure this is a card people don't see every day, for sure. But yeah, as I was saying, you know, you can make like some sort of a OTK deck with this guy and this guy, and use our Honesty Neos, a card that hasn't been released yet. I mean, by the time 
gets released or whatever, you know, the rule, new rules are gonna fuck up decks like these. You can't summon like multiple fusions and stuff. Like the only redeeming thing this deck has, like uh, this evil hero deck that it can do that I guess can put some pressure on your opponent in OTK is that you can dark, dark fusion, summon one of your guys, and then dark calling, remove from play the guys, and it's like a miracle fusion. And then you summon two of your guys. And maybe you can summon like two big fusions. Uh, Dark Gaia and, you know, Malicious Fiend and then OTK or whatever. But, you know, that stuff is going to be gone when the Link summoning stuff comes. Hand Destruction, not bad. So we're down to two packs. Um, I'm very satisfied already. It doesn't matter what I pull. Uh, this was very worth it. And I'm glad like I pulled this on, on screen too, so you guys can see them. Swing on Memories, uh, another good card I neglected to mention. Monster Reborn for Normal Monsters, then it gets destroyed, but there's a lot of good combos you can do with this card. I use it as a text in some decks, like uh, Harpies and stuff. To add a little oomph. Hero's Rule, um, okay. Don't think we've seen this. Right. And last pack, we got Crystal Promise, Trigger Summon, uh, Crystal Beast, Tobas Tiger Rare, okay. Crystal Ragiki, Ruby Carbuncle, and uh, the Guide Card. So, I don't know, I mean, should I show off uh, the foils and stuff we got? Uh, this really isn't a box or anything, so it's like, it doesn't matter if I show the foils. You can't really assess, you know, how easy it is to pull cards. Uh, whatever, let's just show them like this. We got uh, you know, the Crystal Tree, number one. Uh, Skyscraper Hero City. Uh, I should have put this in that pile, whatever. Uh, we got Crystal Release, another foil. So that's three so far. If I didn't make a mistake. And. From this, what do we got? We got like Grave Squirmer or something. We got uh, we have Grave Squirmer, so that should be four. Oh yeah, Evil Hero Infernal Sniper five, and I don't think there's anything else besides uh, our Ultra. So yeah, five supers and one ultra. That's quite nice. Not gonna lie at all. Um, there's also like a infernal prodigy, I guess, because I think it's from the box. That these packs come from the blisters. There's like twenty blisters in each blister box, brown box. So that's uh, six to five uh, super rares and one ultra. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. This was a pretty nice, it was a nicer video than I thought, you know. I pulled a bunch of foils uh, from only 20 packs. I think that's pretty good, especially for back then. Anyway, guys, see you.